Oh, we're tired. Hello guys, and welcome back to another CAFCast. Today we are going to be spending a little bit of time doing lighting, because I, I, I did say last time that we were going to do it off camera, but the thing is, I know a lot of you guys out there really want to see me actually like make some progress stick with you, like, so I kind of thought, why not actually just do it with you? Now, here's the thing. I think the lighting system that we have outside, that we, that we were working on before, is actually like a really good one. Um, you guys might not agree with me here, I don't know for sure, but I'm kind of thinking that having like a a brick system like this, right, bear with me here, with the four gap that we had before, we can then design the, the doors to each of the rooms based on this design. So we have we have like a recurring theme, I'm going to have to start breaking the 10, unfortunately, the, uh, the, the three spooky five me 10. Um, so, if we have a look at this, okay. Sparks decided to sit in one of the holes because he's like a super clever dog. Aren't you, Spark? You're the cleverest of dogs. Yes, I'm sure. Um, yeah, just hang out here for a bit, guys. Cause oh, there's a creeper. Well, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, eat some food. That's a sensible plan. Um, I'm just going to quickly get you guys and move you back across over here. Sparks now sitting down. Dog as well. Meet up with your friends over here. There we go. Fantastic. Everyone's happy. Okay. So if we can... Oh, God. <laughs> if we can have a, a system like this, then what we could do is we could redesign this staircase up to the second floor based on the design of the this, this kind of area here. Because then, essentially, what we would be doing is we would have the roads kind of going through here as well. So the, the four kind of gap like this, and then... The next one, although we'll have to obviously move these chests, but that's fine because they were never planned to stay there permanently anyway, will be able to be like this. And then the other one will be like in here. We'll probably end up changing the uh, the flooring, I guess, maybe. Actually, I, no, I kind of like this floor, actually. It makes less, less effort for us to have to worry about changing it. One, two, three, four, and then starting again here. So if, I'm, I'm pretty confident you guys can see what I'm doing by now. Uh, and actually, oops, Daisy, that's gone too far. Uh, that's the wrong as well. Well, this is fine. <laughs> this is not breaking everything at all. Uh, there we go, like this. And then that is like this next one. So as you can see, like it comes out this way like this. And then because there's going to be another one here, like this. Uh, one, two, there, there, and there. That means that when this is like this, then we can quite easily make this be the road that goes into this room. And then that will govern the size of each of the rooms. And you can see this one, one, two, three, four, goes directly through here, can be the next room that we get into. And then that will be done in that way. And then there'll be one that goes through the back here, obviously, because this is like the central point. So if leave me some suggestions in the comments, guys. But I kind of feel like seeing as we have this really cool connected road system that we actually specifically designed um, to work throughout the Jurassic Park. Not only will this design work inside the building, but it also means that at any point, if we said to ourselves, right, we want to go out to the side here and we want to go straight through into an exhibit that's over there. We want to go straight into the Denonicus exhibit. If we go straight through this way, and I'll actually demonstrate to you guys, this is the this is the four width, okay? One, two, three, four. That's the four width. So there'll be another light would definitely obviously go there. And then one, two, three, four, another one would go there, etc. etc. But I want to go this way, and I want to go into, into an exhibit that's through here. So we just go through here. Try not to kill get killed by the ore berries. <laughs> I can just keep on walking and I can break through here. And as you can see. It actually connects up directly with what we're doing on the outside. So if you if you follow this with me here, you should be able to see that actually this line here has like a light next to it, right? So if we go through into here, outside here, then you should see that this line actually also has a, a light next to it. So uh, so I think that makes sense, unless. Unless for some reason... Oh, no, I think actually we might be one off here. 
So it looks like actually we are. We are just one incorrect because of the way that this entrance has been designed. Doesn't actually line up properly. So that's okay. That's absolutely fine. This is this is the reason why we do this together, guys. So that means that all we need to do is move... Oh my god, this guy's and I swear. Get out of here. You can't shoot me because you're terrible at your game. Ah, oh, don't kill me. Oh, thank god for that. Um, so... Let's do that then. I think that's a really cool idea. I hope you guys agree with me. Um, this means that we, what we will end up doing is making sure that this all kind of connects up in the same way. So we'll mimic what's going on outside here by going, right, okay, so one there, two, three, four, and then another, another lighting, lighting sort of like connection system goes here, like this, you see? So it's just following everything that happens outside but bringing it inside as well to not only make sure that we have the correct amount of lighting to stop any monsters from spawning at all, because this design will physically stop that from happening, but also we can make walls that segregate through these like this, straight straight across and through, which means that they'll have three lights on one side, three lights on the other side. So there is, it is physically impossible then for any monsters to be causing us any problems in the uh, in the world out there. So yeah, I think this is a really cool idea. Please do let me know what you think in the comments, guys, because as I said before, as we always say, this this park is as much yours as it is mine. We're, we're all working together on this. So I kind of feel like this is going to be a really nice way to keep like the flow as well of the of the kind of like park that we have on the outside on the inside so it kind of feels similar uh, and at the same time it kind of like will just keep on recurring so one two three four is there which means that the lighting for the wall here would stop there but the really cool thing obviously is that we can move and manipulate these walls as we see fit we can push them in we can pull them out. There's nothing stopping us from going through like one uh, further in here and then just like moving this whole wall and having it go up as well for that instead. There's a, sc a spider that wants to come and like ruin our day here. This is all nice and lit up, isn't it? That's quite nice. I think I'll leave that all <laughs> the way it is because I don't want things to start spawning up there. Um, but yeah, no, I, I kind of think this is cool. So what we'll probably end up doing is I will just go through and we'll just keep on like adding the the correct grid so that the whole the whole place that we've got here actually has the correct like lighting uh, as much as we can do with, without obviously worrying too much about all the spiders and things we'll use up the rest of the glowstone that we've got around the place we'll go around collecting all of the stuff that you can find out here as well i need to get some apples as well because I'm, I'm really hungry here um, and then once we've done that theoretically it will still be the same on this axis here because obviously there are there is a four space gap there, so that means that the, the center will still be exactly the same. It just means that these will all be spaced one across to the left, um, which actually I think is going to work really, really well. So yeah, I mean, I, no, I think that's really awesome. I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So uh, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I wanted to do a, to do a quick episode because I know that there are lots of people out there that want to see dinosaurs, but there are also lots and lots of people out there who want to see like building logistics and engineering and architecture and all that kind of stuff as well. And I want to include you guys in everything that we that we do here at the CAFCast. I want to make sure that you are essentially just having the, the, the best possible time that you can watching these episodes. Um, so please do let me know what you think about this kind of stuff. If you want to see more building and architecture and stuff and, and how, how my kind of like logic works out the different ways to design these exhibits, then yeah, please do absolutely feel free just just uh, kind of like leave a comment uh, and let me know what you think and we'll, we'll kind of go from there. One, two, three, four. So this again is here, but you can see that rather having it there, it's going to be there. And rather than there, it's going to be there. And rather than there, it's going to be there. So then these actually are going to go here, here and here like that. And then that one comes through, that one comes through, that one comes through, and that one comes through, and then that one comes through. And we can recycle these blocks because large glowstone blocks you can actually just pick up automatically, which is good. And the best thing about this kind of setup, just before we uh, we sign off for today's episode, is that actually any uh, any sort of machines that we need to have in our in our area, like culture vats and stuff, or anything like that, can all go inside of these these uh, kind of like Light lit up areas which I think will actually look really really cool thank god for, for, for no block breaking for creepers right <laughs> oh that is fantastic so once again ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching I hope this all made sense here one two three four and then that'll be there 
Uh, and until next time, don't forget to make sure that you please do like the video if you like the ideas that we're coming up with here. Subscribe if you want to see more cool kind of like building concepts and stuff that we're going to carry on working on as we go. One, two, three, four. So this will be here, I think. Is that right? No, one, two. Yeah, one, two, three. Okay, that's fine. Sweet. Okay. And until next time, guys, I have been Calf of the CAFCast. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. You've been watching the CAFCast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to us if you like what you see. That way I'll know to make more and that you really like me. So, you've been watching the CAFCast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos.